Ani, everybody, Ani. Okay, give me a second here. There we go. Okay. Uh, so welcome back to another Wellness Wednesday with Robin. Um, I wanted to take uh, this Wellness Wednesday just to talk about the month of June because I know it is a busy one for us all. Some of you probably watched the uh, the strawberry moon and the lunar eclipse on June 5th and she was a beautiful sight to see if you got to see her through the clouds. So I know there were some clouds where I, where I am so don't know if you guys had them where you are as well but if you did get a chance to see it, it was gorgeous. Um, we also celebrate National Indigenous History Month and the coming of the, the summer season and um, the ending of the school year. So there is a lot going on uh, this June and I wanted to take this Wellness Wednesday to talk about the uh, significance of the strawberry to Indigenous people. So, um, you know, in June, June is typically the time that the wild strawberries start to ripen and begin to appear. Um, the heart shape of the berry is how it actually got its name. So I did grab one for you guys here to see. I don't know if you guys can see it. There we go. The heart shape is actually how it got its name. Odamen is how we say it in the language. O de min, um, which actually translates to heartberry. Uh, this strawberry, strawberries in general, um, are a very important food and medicine in indigenous cultures throughout uh, North America. I was told by my grandmother when I was very young that the heartberry is deeply connected to the, the strawberry plant. And it's deeply connected by its, its roots and vast leaf system just as our heart is connected to all the organs and parts of the human body. So, you know, we have a deep connection with the heartberry. Um, we have a lot of similarities. The heartberry also helps us to understand the connection between the mind and the body and the spirit. Heartberries also help us to understand reconciliation and forgiveness. So during the time in, in June when, the, you know, the strawberries are harvested, um, oftentimes communities will get together and have kind of like an annual feast. And a lot of the times it brings the people together, regardless of any hostile feelings, regardless of any conflict that has happened in the past. Um, typically when, you know, the communities get together, it is often a time of celebration and it is often a time to spend you know quality time with the people that matter most to you and oftentimes um, you know it, it shows us that forgiveness it shows us that it's time to kind of move past that and uh, to keep going forward and to keep working on our relationships with the people that we love so Berries are one of the four sacred foods in the Ojibwe culture and are used during ceremony uh, the strawberry plant can be used to treat a number of different things, including digestive disorders, skin problems, and it can be used to strengthen the uterus before and after childbirth. That one I did not know. So the heartberry is also a great source of vitamin C. With all of that being said, I wanted to challenge you guys this week to um, incorporate some sort of berries in your diet. They are extremely healthy and um, can be used in a variety of different dishes. So I'm challenging you guys to um, incorporate some sort of berry into something that you guys eat over the next week. If you wanna share in the comments below, that is awesome. Today I did use some Odamen in my smoothies. Um, I typically use them in my smoothies, um, but they're also good just like this too. So um, again, if you wanna share, that's great. If not, that's okay too. Um, I hope that you enjoyed the video and I hope that I was able to share some information that maybe you were not aware of before. And I look forward to seeing you all next week for another Wellness Wednesday. Miigwech for watching.